Hi everyone. Are thinking about weight loss? Actually, I should say, are you also thinking about weight loss? I tried diet plans, shakes, exercise, but not happy with the results. Are you also planning intermittent fasting techniques? Yes. Well, last year I was also thinking about it, but I was not convinced. See, we all have so many doubts, questions, and all these. But sometimes, ideally, we should just do that. Just go for it. Well, let me tell you. I started it last year, and surprisingly, I got the results very fast, quite fast. I lost 20 kilos in just a few months. In fact, I could see the results within a couple of weeks. So I thought to share this experience with with all of you and see if I'm able to motivate some of you. So let's let let's get started. So what's the context? In this video, I'm going to tell you 25 facts about intermittent fasting from my experience. Well, you might have heard and watched that intermittent fasting is becoming very popular in recent years. People are claiming weight loss, improving their health, and so many things. And since it is becoming very popular, people have come up with several methods of intermittent fasting, which we are going to cover next. Uh, we need to keep in mind and consider the best method which suits us, because everybody is different. And last, interestingly, we might have already been aware with this fasting term, because in every religion, fasting already exists since um, so many years. In Hindu religion, in Islam, in Christian and both religion. We already have fasting. So that's not a new thing. We need to see what's next. Okay, let's get started and let's look at what is intermittent fasting. And first of all, don't look at the picture. Don't look at the six packs. We are not going to get six packs just because of intermittent fasting. Picture might be misleading. Anyway, so first and foremost, I would like to tell you it's not a diet. Intermittent fasting is not a diet. It's, it's a pattern. It's all about the time and schedule. So when you schedule your meals. So intermittent fasting doesn't change what you eat. It changes when you eat, at the time of your eating. And the good thing is, the great thing is that we don't need to cut down in our amount of food or the calories. In fact, we need to balance out. So sometimes we need to eat the bigger meals and still we are going to get lean. So confused or happy or excited? Let's see. So let's see. Uh, let's take a dive, deep dive into the intermittent fasting next. So uh, let's see how intermittent fasting works. For some people, it might be a bit boring, but for me, it is very interesting because it's the actual processing behind behind the intermittent fasting or in our body. And we need to understand that how our body works, how this fasting thing is able to reduce our fat. So let's see, let's see how it works. Next. Okay, so let's understand what are the fat and fasted states. But first of all, you might be wondering why should we understand the fat and fasted states in intermittent fasting? Well, I would say if we know the logic and science behind any methodology, for example, here the case is intermittent fasting, then it is very easy to adopt that methodology. So let's get started. I made a diagram to, to explain it more clearly. So we can see the red line, the fat state. It starts when we eat food, then body is digesting and absorbing food until the next three to five hours. After that, our body enters into the post absorptive state. So once we eat food, after 10 to 12 hours, we enter into the fasted state. So in fasted state, we start losing the weight. So, and that's the difference when people say we are doing so many things, so many exercises, but they are not losing weight because they might not be aware with, with the fact that our body starts losing weight only after 10 to 12 hours of, of eating food. And that's why, that's, that's also the reason that why people going through the intermittent fasting lose weight easily, more easily, than the, than the people who are not following it. So is it not easy or too complex? Um, let's see, let's see ahead, thanks. Okay, let us understand what happens when we eat food. Uh, if you understand this section correctly, then it will be helpful to understand the next section, which is when we don't eat, when we are in fasting state. Uh, 
So when we eat food, all the energy has to be stored somewhere. So insulin is the key hormone which helps to store the, all the food. So it's a complex process, but if we put it simply, then uh, let's look at a diagram. So uh, that's a simple, simple process. So when we eat food, it increases the insulin level and it does two things, two tasks. So first it stores sugar in the liver. The next thing it transforms the carbohydrate, the carbs, to the fat in the liver. So, and this process is also called de novo lipogenesis. So uh, that's it when we eat food. Uh, let's see, let's see the next section when we don't eat uh, in the fasting state. Thank you. So let's come to the main point, main section. Uh, what happens when we don't eat? That is, we are in the fasting state, or we can say, what happens when we start intermittent fasting? So we can see uh, this, this process goes in reverse when we don't eat. If you remember when we don't eat, it increases the insulin level and it stores the sugar and fat into the liver. So here it goes just the other way around. So when we fast, it decreases the insulin level that sends a signal to the body to get some more energy. So it start uh, burning the stored sugar and fat from the liver. So that's the real process where uh, the fat burning actually starts. So that's the concept behind intermittent fasting. So let's see next. Reasons to do intermittent fasting. These are also the benefits of, of intermittent fasting. So and, and the other thing is that there are eight reasons, but there might be more. There might be 18 or 28 or maybe 38. So first is, as you can see, the boost hormone growth. It, it helps to boost growth hormones. Then second, it promotes longevity. So you can see the two dancing, happy, aged people. I'm not sure if they have done intermittent fasting, but yes, intermittent fasting promotes longevity. Then third, it boosts, it helps to boost the immune system, the resistance power, so which is a shield from the diseases and the viruses. Then the primary reason you can see it promotes fat loss weight loss and you can see how fat is burning so you can see the flames so that's the core primary aim of intermittent fasting next is interesting you know, it gives the flexibility to eat more food your choice of food at once although uh, don't look at the picture it's misleading that uh, that guy is eating too much we don't have to follow this but Yes, it gives a flexibility to eat your choice of food at once. Then many people say that uh, many, many health professionals say and studies have found that fasting or intermittent fasting also boosts the brain function. It helps to increase the brain blood circulation. So that's, that's an important reason to do intermittent fasting. Then seventh is it reduces insulin resistance. We have seen in the previous previous section that it helps to reduce insulin level. And the eighth one is also something we have seen previously. It helps to lower the blood pressure. So guys, all, of, all eight reasons are here to do intermittent fasting. Let's see next. So now we know uh, what is intermittent fasting and why to do intermittent fasting. Now let's come to the essence of intermittent fasting, which is a schedule, which means how to do intermittent fasting. So I have highlighted the five best uh, intermittent fasting schedules, methods, which are very popular. I have intentionally put uh, multiple infographics, but um, to, in, you know, to show that uh, there are so many names, so many different names, but let's follow the five, five simplest one. So the first one is 16 hours or 18 hours fasting method. As the name suggests, the 16 hours is the fasting window. Then we have 20 is to 4 fasting method. We call it warrior method as well. So uh, in which we have fasting window is 20 hours and 4 hours of eating window. Next we have 5 to 2 fasting diet. So in 5 to 2 we have uh, fasting for 2 days and normal eating window for 5 days. Next, we have 24 hours fasting. We call it eat fast, eat cycle as well. As the name says, uh, we keep on fasting for 24 hours. Uh, then we have 36 hours fasting. And this is also called alternate day fasting. So you know, in alternate day fasting, you know, we have a fast on each alternate day. So these are the five best methods. We are going to cover these in next section. Let's watch them. Thanks. 
So let's get started with 16-8 intermittent fasting. That's one of the most popular method of intermittent fasting. Um, in fact, I also started with this method and still doing that. So let's see. Well, this 16-8 method is also called time-restricted fasting. What do we do in this fasting? So as the name suggests, we have 16 hours of fasting window and 8 hours of eating window. How we do that? Generally, people start at night skip the breakfast and they eat their first meal around lunch time around 12 1 2 so whatever makes the 16 hours and it gives overall the 16 hours from night to the lunch time to the in the afternoon how many meals we can eat in 16 8 method of course we, we might have two or three larger meals and some snacks but generally people have two larger meals like lunch and dinner and one or two snacks that's it we will see the reference schedule uh, in next section, but generally for the beginners, it is recommended that they can start, they might start with 13, 14 hours window, and then gradually, slowly and gradually, they can they can reach up to 16 hours, and then they can do more. For example, I started with 12 or 13 hours, then, then within few days, I reached to 16 hours religiously, and then later on, I myself started with 18 or 20 as well. So, uh, so nothing to, to worry, um, it's, it, it should be fine with, in terms of the fasting window. So, we just have to start from somewhere. So, that's it. Let's see the reference schedule. So, we already know the 16-8 intermittent fasting method. So, the sheet should be a very straightforward one. You can create this such kind of sheet by your own as well. So, let's see. So this is not a rocket sign, this is quite straightforward again. So we eat our first meal at 12 p.m. in the afternoon. Then we can eat few meals, few other meals till 8 p.m. in the night. It gives a fasting window from 8 p.m. in the night till 12 p.m. in the afternoon, so 16 hours. Now we can make some changes, like we can do the intermittent fasting from 7 in the evening till 11 in the morning. And then we can also do from 6 in the evening till 10 in the morning but it might be a difficult one because if we we are eating at 6 then we might have to sleep a bit early else we might we might feel hunger so but but that's fine that's your choice so uh, and that doesn't make a difference ultimately we have to maintain the 16 hours now how many meals what what we can eat but of course as we as we said in the previous section we must stick with the Two larger meals, two meals, and one or two snacks at max. So that should that would make intermittent fasting more effective. So that's all about it. And let's see the next intermittent fasting method. So the next is five to two fasting diet. So what is the five to two diet? Let's see next. It's very simple, although. In five to diet, we fast for two days in a week. How do we do that? Okay, let's. See. So in those five days when we are not fasting, we can eat usually. So whatever we can eat, for example, if we if our calorie intake is 2,000 calories, then we can eat those 2,000 calories. However, in next two days where we are fasting, we need to eat 25% of the normal calorie. So for example, if in five days we are eating 2,000 calories each, then in the fasting days, two fasting days, we need to stick to 500 calories 500 or 600 calories so that is the concept behind 5 to diet also some people some professionals recommend that women can might eat 500 calories whereas men can eat 600 calories on the fasting days your choice that's it so that's the sample schedule for 5 to intermittent fasting method uh, that is again uh, very simple we have already seen that in last section so two days are for intermittent fasting so on day two and day five so on these two days we are eating 500 or 600 calories each and on the other days we are eating normally so whatever calories we eat so that's all about this five to dieting reference you can you can create this kind of schedule by yourself as well uh, let's see next section so the next one is alternate day fasting uh, this is again very simple let's take a look okay what about alternate day fasting so as the name says it is a fasting every other day so one day you are having fast the other day you are eating full meal so that's all about alternate day fasting one special thing about this is that 
since this is an extreme one uh, on the fasting day you will have 24 hours of fast so usually it's not recommended for the beginners so that's all about it let's see the reference schedule so that's the sample schedule of alternate day intermittent fasting so that's again very simple and straightforward so on day one you are having your normal diet on day two you're having either 24 hours fast or you're eating a few hundred calories and then this cycle goes on till day seven uh, very straightforward very simple flexibility you have you have so you can have either 24 hour fast or you can eat few hundred calories you can modify the days where when you are eating normally or you're having fast and that's it so just very simple let's look at another kind of uh, intermittent fasting thank you so here is the, another one so that's 24 hours fasting which is also called eat stop eat fasting let's see the details but one thing don't be influenced by the picture that's all so let's see the details of this kind of fasting okay so next intermittent fasting technique is eat stop eat so you can see number 13 number 13 some people think number 13 is not a lucky one so eat stop eat is a 24 hours fast in a week and you can also see the glass of water intentionally i kept it here because you might have to rely on this glass of water for 24 hours so it's stop eat as the name suggests it's a 24 hour fast you can have it in once or twice in a week so this one is quite popular uh, for example you might have dinner at 7 pm today and so the next meal next dinner you will have at 7 pm tomorrow and then this is just for reference you can also fast from breakfast to breakfast or lunch to lunch and result is same of course and again like other fastings uh, you can have non-caloric drinks or, or food like water coffee without milk you can have it and no solid foods of course so this is sample schedule for reference for 24 hours intermittent fasting this is again very simple look look very simple so on day one you are eating normal now on day two you are having full day fast 24 hours fast and then again you are eating normally for a couple of days and then day five you are again having uh, 24 hours fast this might look uh, similar to the 5-2 intermittent fasting but the difference is uh, in this case in eat top eat case you might increase your your days of fasting so that's the that's the flexibility so yes so that's very simple again uh, let's take a look on the last one which is the warrior intermittent fasting so the last one is warrior diet plan now picture is self-explanatory this is warrior this is 20 by 4 intermittent fasting let's take a look on that so the warrior diet plan that's one of my favorite diet plan uh, in my view this diet plan is just an extension of 16 8 intermittent fasting so in this diet plan the warrior diet plan we have 20 hours of fasting period and four hours of normal eating and the good thing is in four hours you can eat anything whatever you like the normal diet so that's it very straightforward i think so let's take a look on the sample schedule of this thank you so the sample schedule of water intermittent fasting is quite self-explanatory every day you are having 20 hours of fasting period fasting window and four hours is the your normal eating window so for example your last meal you are eating at 8 p.m in the night then next meal which you will have would be on two o'clock in the afternoon sorry four o'clock in the afternoon yeah so it looks quite horrible so, so so the simple strategy to to implement this one is that it's not for beginners so we should begin with 12 or 14 hours of fasting or maybe 16 hour fasting and then slowly and gradually we should extend that 16 8 fasting to 20 24 uh, intermittent fasting and that's the way i implemented this one and and this is this becomes quite quite easy then so that's it let's see the other things other details about intermittent fasting thank you all right so since we are here to understand intermittent fasting so let's listen to the benefits let's see if you look at the infographic you'll find that the benefits of intermittent fasting are enormous you take a look on the list and list will go on be it stem cell production be it nervous system be it skin be it muscles be it brain heart pancreas liver belly 
cholesterol actually in fact uh, intermittent fasting is related to the healthy lifestyle so if your lifestyle is healthy and if you are healthy then you will reap all the benefits so of course intermittent fasting is quite beneficial so let's take a look on the next section okay so that's the time to break some myths burst some myths so the most popular belief which we have heard we might have heard that breakfast is the most important meal of the day also some people believe that if they skip the breakfast it might lead to excessive hunger and cravings and that might lead to weight gain as well then we have our famous popular saying phrase that eat breakfast like a king lunch like a prince and dinner like a pauper well what are the facts one study has shown that uh, within the two groups who ate the breakfast and who didn't there was no significant difference between those two groups so having or not having breakfast didn't have any significant weight difference just number one the other study showed that if we break our fast after a long time interval in the morning then it leads to a healthy weight loss it is quite self-explanatory in support of intermittent fasting so what are the actions action is just simply to go for intermittent fasting unless and otherwise you have a specific health issue just go for it that's it and the myth number two is eating frequent meals are beneficial uh, some of the related myths are eating frequently boost in metabolism it can help you weight loss reduce hunger and good for health well the facts are contrary to this the fact says that there have been studies and researches which have shown that increasing or decreasing meal frequency doesn't affect affect the total calories burned and the other studies have shown that there is no difference in weight loss fat loss or weight gain so they, these are the facts so what is the action action is the intermittent fasting fasting intermittent fasting that's the only solution <laughs> okay guys let's see the other things so myth number three brain needs a regular supply of glucose some of the related myths are that some people claim if they don't eat carbs every few hours brain might stop working and some people also believe that our brain needs only glucose for fuel but the facts are something else facts say is that our brain can use some other things for example ketones as the fuel source for the brain even for the prolonged starvation or for long term fasting or in case of extremely low carb diets for example for 24 hours fasting uh, our body can produce more ketones and our brain can use it so that means uh, no longer true our action what is our action go for the intermittent fasting uh, of course but in case uh, you have a different condition and and you might feel fatigued or shaky then of course it's not for you but there, these are only exceptional cases in general intermittent fasting is okay to go through so let's see at other myth that's another one of the most popular belief or myth which says intermittent fasting makes us lose muscle mass some people also believe that when we fast our body starts burning muscles for the fuel for the energy well let's take a look on the fact well the fact is when we fast hormonal changes gives us more energy and therefore we retain our lean muscle mass and the bone and some of the studies have been done on intermittent fasting and it, and they say that people who go through intermittent fasting experience in, an increase in muscle mass so that's contrary to the and not only this we have another important fact that we already know that we have two forms of energy in our body which is sugar and fat and our body can use only these two forms of energy and interestingly if you know that muscle mass comes from protein so protein which makes up our muscles is not at all used by our body during the fasting in short if we summarize it then we can say that there is no evidence that fasting causes muscle mass in fact study shows the other way around so they say if we do intermittent fasting we can maintain and rather increase the muscle mass so let's go for intermittent fasting so the myth number 5 is intermittent fasting makes you overeat so the related myths are that 
concerns are raised for fasting to provoke overeating it slows down the metabolism and there are some more but the fact is that actually it's logical to uh, you cannot compensate for all the calories which you have lost during the fasting window for example if you are going through the 24 fasting intermittent fasting uh, methodology of process then we are having fast for 20 hours and we are eating in 4 hours we cannot eat all the food which we had to eat in 20 hours in next 4 hours you got what i want to say so we cannot actually really compensate for all the calories which we have lost then the studies have shown that people who fasted for 24 hours ended up eating only 500 extra calories the next day so that's that's also beneficial so that myth is not true of course it's not logical so what are the action actions are to go for the intermittent fasting and it is considered as the most powerful tool to lose weight so that's it so let's go to one of the most important section which is what breaks a fast what should we eat during the fasting window so the thumb rule is that all the drinks and food with zero calorie will not break a fast and vice versa So let's take a look on the blue section. So it has black coffee, most teas, water, dry diet soda, carbonated water, creatine, stevia, and salt. So salt, salt should be the pink one, the pink salt. Stevia, creatine, all of them are zero calorie. And then we have carbonated water and diet soda. So again, zero calorie. You might take it. The best two things which you ask me, my personal opinion is water, of course, king of everything. then we have most teas so most teas in most teas i would recommend the, the green tea green tea lemon tea mint tea so any any green tea then we have black coffee black coffee ha- also has a science to to break the fat molecules within the body during intermittent fasting so it is also very helpful i, I don't recommend black coffee too much in quantity but yes um, science says it has a lot of health benefits during weight loss so next section will break will break has all the things with calories all the food and drinks with calories so all the coffees protein powders coconut oil all the oils in fact then we have we have creamers sugar chewing gum coconut water and milks so and we have gray gray zone so gray zone has also has some some suspicious things which might have calories so don't take it so all the things with zero calorie can be taken that's all so let's go to the next section so we are reaching almost at the end of this video so this section is all about some extra and additional tips and it's always good to see and take a reference of what other people are doing so one thing is black coffee of course we have already uh, discussed that so that then we have strength training and one thing about a strength training is that it is very helpful when we do it just before breaking our fast so we are if we are breaking our fast at 12 it's very helpful if we break if we if we do some exercise somewhere around 11 or 11:30 then we have water so we should always drink a lot of water so eating window depending on what kind of intermittent fasting you are doing then we should watch out our calorie in so generally people take two large meals and one or two snacks and water uh, although uh, intermittent fasting does not uh, restrict any particular amount of food but yes so we should take a reference from others then we have uh, fasting while sleeping so when we f- when we sleep uh, intermittent fasting goes on so and then we have few things to cover our hunger so about this section uh, you should do it only as per your requirements so it is just uh, helpful if if you are going through some particular situation or something so we have coffee again we have herbal tea vinegar you should watch out you should read uh, and you should consult with the health professional before uh, taking vinegar but many people believe and, and say that vinegar is helpful in, in in reducing weight but again this is debatable as well then we have fruit water bone broth oil all you should watch out uh, oil ghee coconut oil watch out for this look at look at uh, your requirement if you really need it then take it cinnamon of course you can take uh, take it without thinking too much salt salt you should always if you want to take it 
Ideally, you should avoid it, but if you really want to take it, try pink salt. So that's all about these tips. Let's see ahead. Side effects of intermittent fasting. Well, truly speaking, I wanted to avoid and skip this section because of a number of reasons. Reason number one, they're quite rare. They're exceptions. Generally, you won't experience them. And the second and more important aspect is that <laughs> Benefits of intermittent fasting outweigh the side effects of it, which means that benefits of intermittent fasting are far, far, far more than the side effects of it. But still, we should be aware with all the sides, all the aspects. So let's take a look on them. So some people have reported and complained that uh, they might be experiencing low energy, headaches, heartburns, feeling cold, kidney stones and cravings during intermittent fasting. Well, the reason, the real cause of these problems might be something else as well, but we should be aware with all these things. So I would say be cautious, uh, be aware with these facts, with these uh, side effects and immediately consult doctors if, if you feel like this. But generally, I would again say don't worry too much about them. Uh, they, they generally don't take place. So let's take a look on the last section. All right, it had to happen. We have now reached to the end of this video. Let's recap what we have learned so far about intermittent fasting. First of all, purpose of this video is not to present intermittent fasting as one-stop solution, one-stop shop for all the problems in the world. Rather, the intent is to make everyone aware of all the benefits and the methods of intermittent fasting. The other thing is that intermittent fasting is not for everyone. We must consider our individual health requirements and if required, consult a doctor or a healthcare professional. Having said that, we must remember there are a lot of people who are getting a lot of benefits. They're losing weight in no time. So go ahead. One more very important thing. The only motive or objective of intermittent fasting is not to lose weight, stay healthy, is also very important and so so adopt healthy lifestyle and whether we are doing intermittent fasting or not avoiding junk food is the best idea and then again if required consult a healthcare professional or a doctor so that's it from my side thank you very much for watching this video and tolerating i hope you must have got some additions to your existing knowledge of intermittent fasting and most importantly if this video has motivated even in the small numbers in considering intermittent fasting if, if if even a single person will consider intermittent fasting after watching this video i will consider these videos as success so thank you very much for watching again thank you very much for watching this video i hope you'll try intermittent fasting so stay healthy Stay fit, stay connected, stay subscribed and like and share please. Goodbye. Thank you.